Hey, looks like it worked. YouTube, sweet ass. What a pain in the butt. Good Lord. Oh, so for any of you that <laughs> have YouTube channels and you've been trying to go live recently, I guess because of just the very, very high number of people on the internet, working from home, probably on YouTube, uh, when you try and go live, it, this was the third attempt at me trying to go live. So basically, if you've never gone live before, you have to do the title and you type out the title and you set all your settings and you check this and you check that and then you take a thumbnail and if the thumbnail sucked, you gotta retake the thumbnail and then you hit go live and then all of a sudden it just freaking starts spinning and it says, sorry, live stream is not available right now. And then you're back to square one. So you have to go back and you freaking, if you didn't copy and paste the title knowing that YouTube has been kind of sucking ass recently with these live streams, then you got to type it all over again. You select all your settings. It's a pain in the butt. But anyway, I'm here. I watched my replay from Monday and it, the, the stream would skip. So I don't know if that's my connection or that's my cable provider or that's YouTube or that's my computer. I have no idea. But the good news is that we're here. The good news is that I'm wearing a hockey jersey and a football hat. The good news is that they're both orange, so I'm at least partially color coordinated. The good news is that I already took this guy out of the box the other day, but he's not out of the package, so he's technically still in package. I'm gonna take this one out of the package. I'm gonna show you the cliff jumper, which you can kind of see him right there next to my pretzel bits, whatever the frick those are. We're going to open this badass. First of all, this thing's heavy. This thing's got weight to it. And I just now noticed that there's a, there's a uh, design on there. Uh, it looked completely black at first, I guess because of the lighting. But now that I'm looking at it on camera, there is a D design on there. And uh, this is I have literally not touched this in three days. I've just let it sit down there and percolate. I'm getting some wet fingers on it because I just drank some Diet Pepsi, some Dr. Pepsi. But oh, look at that. Holy frick. That's embossed right there. It's like an embossed. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. We're going to unbox this. I'm going to look at it. We're going to spend some time with this thing. We're going to look at it. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of pictures of it. Most people are getting them that pre-ordered it. 38 peeps on here. Five thumbs up. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm going to open this. I'm going to talk about, uh, was it Stuart? Stuart Fulbrook asked me on uh, Facebook. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me. I had a slice of pizza for lunch. Uh, I've been doing a lot of cardio. A lot of cardio. Um, a lot of walking so I can afford to indulge in a little slice of peppy pizza. Had that for lunch, had a breadstick too. Anyway, what was I saying? Stuart Fulbrick asked me, what are some of the YouTube channels that I watch? So I'm gonna share some of the YouTube channels. I'm, I'm looking at my little subscription feed right now. Looks like Campia's live right now too. Don't watch him, watch me. You can watch the replay on Campia. I like what he does though. He's very smart. John Campia is the one I'm talking about. He does a lot of movie reviews, but he's very smart. Because what he does is he films an entire live episode. And I, I forget how long he goes for, two hours or something. He goes for a while. But he talks about a variety of topics during that live episode. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then he takes clips from his live episode and creates secondary, tertiary, quadriary. <laughs> he creates subsequent videos on YouTube based on those specific topics. So, like, if he'll talk about... <clears throat> um, Wonder Woman 84 being delayed till August is one of the topics. He'll do a separate video from his live stream and create a separate video on YouTube. So one live stream can produce like 10 videos for him. Very, very smart, Mr. Campia. And I'll watch your live stream a little bit later, but not right now, because I'm live right now. And what's up, everyone? 69 people, yeah! 69, dude! 71 already, so we're already at the 69 realm. 21 thumbs up. Thank you very much. I'm going to unbox some stuff. I'm going to talk about some YouTube channels. I'm going to, let me show you this first. So 
The other day, I opened this one up. This is a uh, cliff jumper. I got him out of box. One of my gripes, I w it wasn't really a gripe. It didn't really bother me, but I did something about it. But one of the gripes that a lot of people have is that he doesn't have an Autobot symbol on his, on his little chesticles. So I had bought these, I think it was last year. And these are repro labels. I'm sure you've heard of these. But these are Autobot symbols. Now this one right here is a clear background. So those white eyes, when you take this sticker off, it's clear. So if it's if you're putting this one on like a blue transformer, he's gonna have blue eyes. This one right here is a white background. So those eyes are white, the little uh, details in the Autobot symbol are white. These were super cheap. I don't know how much they were. Super cheap, but repro label, I think their site is reprolabels.com. Anyway. Bam, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Uh, I didn't go with the super big Autobot symbol because he is a mini bot, so I went with this sized Autobot symbol. But that looks pretty good. I used the white background one, because if I had used the clear one, he would have just had like red eyes and it would have looked weird. And a red symbol on a, on a red transformer would have looked a little odd. But doesn't that look good? That's the Cliff Jumper Earthrise figure. I got the little blast effect from Jetfire in his little uh, rocket launcher, his bazooka, whatever that is. Big gun on his shoulder. But doesn't that look good? That looks good. And uh, I really, really, really like this figure and I really, really, really love the Earthrise line so far. So there is Hoist, there is Cliff Jumper, Blast Effected Out. And if you compare the Autobot symbols, this is a sticker cliff jumper. This is painted on. They look pretty good. Do they not? Anyway, uh, so I wanted to show you guys that first. And then I'm going to look at this one here. Now, if this one did not have an Autobot symbol on his chest, but he already does, if he did not, I would have used the clear one and then would have just had the white eyes because the background plastic is white. Before I get to some unboxings and stuff, let me go ahead and take a look at the comments and see who's here. George Jr. 76 was the first to comment, so what's up, man? Lord Luigi 23, Knight of Ren, King Dingaling, I love that handle. Jesmer 66, Stuart Fulbrook. Stuart, I'm going to uh, answer your question. Which uh, YouTubers do I watch? Sports Bros, Marvel Action. Um, Marvel Action's in Vegas, baby. Fabulous Disaster, Rashad's here, Ionicus, IE, Rodney Vidanes, Uber Hulk, what's up, Uber Hulk? Uh, Jesmer66, CB Hunts, Patrice Everard. Not to the Diet Pepsi from the other day. No, that thing is, uh, that had like 1 16th liquid in it. It was completely flat. So I would not drink that. This is a brand new uh, Dr. Pepsi right here to keep me. Not parched. Let me get a snake eyes, baby. Snake eyes, baby. And we're going to take a look at that one. I'm going to spend some time on that one, so I have to uh, get through the rest of the stuff pretty quick. But 86 on, 39 thumbs up. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching me and not Campia. <laughs> Watch Campia later. Uh, let's see here. Wicked Hunter, Robert Chattel. So we got a forum. Let's do this. So I'm going to open this one first. This is Wheeljack. And uh, I'm gonna use this thing. Even though this thing is broken, it gets locked in place, the blades are off. So I have to like gently squeeze it and not cut my fingers off while I do that. So I'm gonna cut these little, hopefully I get them all this time. Cut these little bands that keep this bad boy in place. I am not going to transform this. So if you're here for a detailed, a video on how to transform Wheeljack, you are at the wrong location because I am the last person you would want to take any advice from on trans... Son of a bee. Well, he just took a freaking nosedive and landed right on uh, some hockey cards there. I'm just trying to get this damn little freaking pea shooter, this tiny little, tiny little thing out of here. This thing is in there. Nice and tight. There we go. Frick. There we go. Got it out. 
Um, what have I watched recently? I watched Birds of Prey. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I went in with uh, low to mild expectations because people either said they really liked it or they didn't like it. And I was one of the people that liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. It had elements of Deadpool, Deadpool 2. Uh, it was kind of a heist movie. Um, I really liked Ewan McGregor as Black Mask. He had so much freaking personality as a bad guy. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed the movie. But uh, let's see here. So I watched that. That is available on Bundle right now. I, I've been talking about this Voodoo Bundle where you get the uh, digital code right away and then you get a disc sent to you. I, I paid $24.99 for the Blu-ray bundle and got the digital code right away and watched that movie. But I did enjoy it. Um, and it would not be the first time that I enjoyed a movie that other people did not enjoy. Because I also enjoyed Suicide Squad. I also enjoyed Rise of Skywalker. People didn't enjoy that. Um, sorry, I'm just taking a look at this wheel jack. So here's the wheel jack. And I will echo the sentiments of everyone else that I've watched that has opened this figure. I really, really like it. I wish this thing was longer because I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now. I'm going to go ahead and get my masterpiece. I should have done this beforehand. By the way, for those that say I don't wear enough East Coast Jerseys. Here's the Philadelphia Flyers, Travis Konechny. So here's the masterpiece. And this is the second masterpiece version. This is the um, anime or cartoon version. They did a, another version that's more like toy deco. This one's more cartoon version. And then here is the Earthrise. So there you go. There's the difference. And it looks like this little gun on the shoulder can either double as this gigantic <laughs> gun on the masterpiece shoulder or this little one. I'm probably going to use it as the little one. So he comes with that small gun in his hand and then he comes with the big one on his shoulder. But that's the masterpiece. Beautiful, obviously. And then here is Earthrise. Interesting that they did this. So on the masterpiece, he has a 539, 539 on him. This has 638. Very interesting that they did that. I'm just kind of comparing the decos right now. Huh, interesting. I'm just going to show you, uh, I'll do a little comparison here. So that you saw the fronts. Uh, I'll show you the backs. So the back of the masterpiece back of the earth rise. Obviously the masterpiece is heavy. The earth rise is plastic, but I will say that I do really, really like the earth rise figure. Uh, it's a $20 toy and it is a small plastic masterpiece is, uh, this one, same thing. It's, it's a great figure. It's a, it's a very cool representation of Wheeljack. Let me just look at the heads, different than the heads. So Masterpiece, if you look at his head, kind of grayish, gray on like the ears, the the face mask, and then those things on his head. And then this one is uh, silver, kind of chromed. So very cool, very, very cool. I like it. And let me see how this looks. So basically this gun here has that kind of rectangular peg, which can go into this port right here, or it's got the circular peg, which you can then put it in his hand and have as a tiny little pea shooter. So there you go. But I like it. I like it a lot. And this will look great next to hoist. Let's do uh, one more little comparison here. So here is the wheel jack, and then here is hoist. And then I'll do a comparison wheel jack, cliff jumper. So they look good together. I'm really looking forward to more G1 uh, Arc Autobots. We're getting Trailbreaker, we're getting uh, Sunstreaker. 
We've already gotten Hound and Sideswipe, but those were in Siege. So, um, and then we're getting um, Smokescreen. And Smokescreen actually uh, has like the Earth type alt mode, the Earth type car. Was it a Datsun 280 or something? So that gives me hope that they're going to do the Blue Streak and maybe the, was it Jazz or Prowl? No, Jazz was a Porsche. The Prowl in uh, the Earthrise version because it's the same toy, just a different um, paint job. So I'm really looking forward to more Earthrise figures. I do like them a lot. 20 bucks, you can't beat them. If you're a G1 fan, if you grew up on G1 Transformers, it, it, it's, a, it's a great toy line to invest in. And uh, I still like my masterpiece. I don't have that many, um, but I do have a few. So there you go, guys. There's Wheeljack. I'll show him again later bit on. Uh, later bit on. Wow. A little bit later uh, in the uh, stream in case you jumped on late. But let me take a look at the comments here real quick. And then I will get to this uh, Snake Eyes. So um, I'm going to talk about just briefly some um, YouTube channels that I watch. Let me move this over here so it's easier to look at. I watch a lot of YouTube channels and uh, I have a lot of interests. So my YouTube channels are very different. Um, I'm a movie fan. Can I pull up my freaking subscription so I can talk to you guys about this? I'm a wrestling fan. So there's a few wrestlers that have their own YouTube channels. Ryback is one. Ryback does, uh, <laughs> does food reviews. He goes to like restaurants. He was doing a muck. He's still doing mukbang. Mukbang, for those that don't know, is when you eat a large amount of food all at one time. And he does mukbang challenges. So he did one, I think, for the uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich. But that's what Ryback does. Uh, he's recovering, trying to get back in the ring. But he's got a pretty successful... YouTube channel where he just like reviews food and he's pretty funny too. So I watch that. I watch uh, Chris Van Vliet for wrestling. He's an interviewer. I watch Sammy Guevara. He's got his own YouTube channel. I watch um, Being the Elite. I'm going to move this back over here so I can actually freaking see my subscriptions or not. Maybe. Okay, I guess I'm not seeing my subscriptions. They were all laid out nicely. Maybe I, it's because I shut the window. Nope. Okay. I suck. Uh, so I watch, uh, obviously, a lot of toy channels because I'm a big toy fan. So, um, I mean, obviously, I watch all my friends uh, on there as well. But, like, some of the ones that you might not have heard of. Hold on. <clears throat> this is really annoying that I can't pull up my subscriptions right now. Uh, but I'm just going to go down here. So Van Vliet is also live streaming right now, but don't watch him watch me. Uh, Michael Mercy, I was on his um, his channel. Big, huge G.I. Joe fan, big 80s toy fan. Um, awesome channel, just pure awesome. I watched his channel, and literally it made me want to collect uh, like vintage shows. I watched the way he... Um, he, some of his videos, he would basically show like uh, the 84 Joes all together and show all the releases from G.I. Joe from 1984. And for a while there, like in my uh, detox, I was, um, I was displaying my Joes based on year because of his video. So um, he's great. Um, Justin's collection, great reviewer for Hot Toys. I watch him. Uh, I'm just going to go right down the list. I have Fly Guy. He does the Star Wars stuff. John Flickinger, he's a movie uh, guy. He also has his own like vlog. Uh, MGO316, Transformers guy. Uh, let's see. Campia, obviously, eating up my, my feed here. Comic Book Corner 2.0. Awesome dude. Mike Spider Slayer. Um, it's kind of sad because they're, they're not doing comic books for right now. The Diamond. So first of all, just a quick, quick thing. Diamond Distributors is the monopoly in comic book distribution, which is a stupid idea, if you ask me. There should not be one distributor that monopolizes the entire comic book industry. There's one freaking Diamond. Um, there should be more than one distributor that if Diamond goes down and they're shelter in place, that another distributor, maybe in a different state, maybe like in freaking Montana or North Dakota where there's like one case of Corona, they can then still distribute comics so that people can at least try to feel normal while they're sequestered in their house. So Comic Book Corner 2.0, again, great, great dude. 
um, he would basically uh, film himself buying his comic books and he'd show his comic book haul. And then he'd show like the best covers for the week. And he'd show, he'd give his reviews on like his favorite comic books for the week. So he's, he's one that I really enjoy his channel. He's actually going to keep doing um, uh, videos during this whole thing. So check him out. Post to Post is a, a hockey related channel. I, um, great dude there. And he uh, talks about hockey, talks about games. He's a Jersey collector as well. So I watch him for that. Uh, who else is on here? Uh, Collider videos, always good. Um, Boston Mike, uh, the local Dallas Fort Worth legend, Boston Mike, just started his YouTube channel. So uh, watch him. T Man 978, longtime buddy of mine. Um, he actually reviewed this uh, G.I. Joe classified snake eyes. So if you want to see another opinion after you watch this live stream, you can check out T Man 978, check out his review. Uh, Nick Nacks Plastic Planet, hilarious dude. Uh, kind of R-rated, so make sure the kids aren't around when you're watching that. But very cool channel there. Wrestle Talk, uh, huge wrestling channel that I watch. Uh, the Foosh, obviously. I mean, I watch the Foosh. That's probably one of my favorite toy channels. Period on YouTube. Um, I mentioned Unparalleled University yesterday. Another great toy reviewer. Awesome dude there. Up Up Down Down, which is um, Austin Creed. What's his name on? Uh, He's in the New Day. Xavier Woods. Brain fart. Xavier Woods has his own video game channel, and he has a lot of WWE wrestlers on there playing video games, so up, up, down, down is good. Uh, Art Gutierrez, who's been who supplied me with uh, sideshow uh, codes for a while during the whole birthday thing. Great channel there. Bobby Skullface, great channel there. Optimus, still watching. He was one of the first YouTubers I watched. Seha Man, another one, one of the first YouTubers I watched. Um, but that's just a little sampling. I, there, I could go on and on all freaking live cast and talk about the channels I watch, but there's a lot of great channels out there. Get out there, watch some. Um, and if you have a channel and you're in this chat right now, and I didn't mention you, please drop your channel name in the chat so that we can take a look at it. Toy Galaxy, another great one. BJ just, uh, BJ said that one. Uh, or if you have a favorite, uh, YouTube channel, Mention it in the comments or mention it in the chat because I'll make the chat available after this. Uh, I'm just taking a quick look at the uh, the chat right here. Nick's Figs, what's up, fellow Quarantios? Uh, Kelby Bragg, what's my favorite Mezco action figure? My favorite Mezco right now. I think Mrs. Cincy's going to make an appearance on a live video here in a second here right outside the door. Favorite Mezco right now is probably Magneto or Sovereign Knight PX Previews Exclusive Batman. It's the blue and gray Batman. Um, I really like that figure. I think that's one of the best Batmans, if not the best Mezco Batman that they've done. Uh, let's see here. Retro Blasting, Knight of uh, Ren says, uh, Mark 44 Prime says, Jetta Patrol and Sixth Scale Scavengers are really good ones. Um, Boogeyman's Ben, Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. I've not watched that one. Uh, yeah, Jay Hernandez. I just watched his review. He did a uh, Crossbones review. Just Jay Hernandez. Really, really great channel. That guy is really talented with his editing skills. Um, just imposing figures. That guy's really good. Uh, Can't pull live. Another one. Nerd out. Yes. How could I forget nerd out? Nerd out's one of my favorite YouTube channels. There's channels that you uh, subscribe to, and then there's channels that you subscribe to and watch and have notifications on, and you can't wait for them to produce another video. And nerd out is two guys from Michigan that just talk about toys. And um, uh, Randy actually started his own store called Nerd Out up in uh, the Detroit area. So definitely uh, check that out. But Nerd Out is such a great channel. Narc is such a great channel, not another retro channel. Such a great channel. And he just passed 10K and he just joined the chat. <laughs> What's up, Narc? All right, guys. Uh, so let me go ahead and if you're just joining, I did on unpackaged because it was already unboxed. I unpackaged the wheel jack. There it is. It looks great. Buy Earthrise figures. They're fantastic. I covered some YouTube channels that I watch. I had it all set up before I started 
this live stream, I was just going to run down my subscriptions and then it freaking disappeared. So then I had to just go down my feed and start going through channels that I watch. Um, Mike the Hunter, Mike the Hunter uh, is still doing well. He's on Instagram. I wish he would do more videos because I thought his videos were very, very entertaining and I would love him to do more videos, but he's got other stuff he's working on right now, other stuff he's doing. So anytime Mike the Hunter wants to come back and make videos, I will watch them. But here we go. Um, this right here is heavy. A lot of packaging. I'm kind of interested to see what's in here. I know the figure's in here, but I'm wondering what's adding so much weight to this because this feels like, it feels like a big book. It feels like a big hardcover book. But there's the outside of the packaging right there. You can see it's like embossed on the inside the slip cover, but let's do this. Bam. And by the way, if I didn't mention your channel, it's not because I don't watch you. It's just because I have a lot of channels that I watch. And I was literally just looking at my feed from today and yesterday or half of yesterday. So there's the uh, inside. That is freaking wicked. I just got to take a look at that. That is awesome. And you could see the Arashikagi symbol right there. I don't have any tattoos, but if I ever got like, if I thought about at one point doing like a sleeve of nerdy stuff, just stuff that means a lot to me that I've been fan a fan of for my whole life, like GI Joe, Star Wars, stuff like that. And uh, one of the ones that I thought of was doing an Arashikagi symbol. I still don't have any tattoos. I'm kind of a chicken about it. But if I ever got one, I would probably, that would that would possibly be one of the first ones I got. Maybe even like a freaking sword with the Arashikage. That's pretty awesome. But holy crap, that's, a, that's some packaging right there. I think the weight in it might actually just be in the packaging because this is solid, solid cardboard. Kelby Bragg says, since he nerd, you're my favorite YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. That's that means a lot to me, knowing that there's a lot of other channels out there, a lot of other YouTubers that I personally think are much better than mine, spend more time than mine, are, enter are more entertaining than me. So when when someone says I'm their favorite, I really really freaking appreciate that. So seriously, thank you for that. But am I gonna be able to get this damn thing open? <laughs> this thing, this thing is toit. All right, so I got the top cover off here. There is a, all right, this is potentially frameable right here. There is a big piece of artwork right there. It's a print, obviously, but it's on that, um, the, the, what is that called? The paper itself is, it feels like kind of fabric-y and I can't, is it Gickly or Gisly, Gickly paper where the, the, paper feels like kind of fabric that might be frameable right there that's pretty awesome so there's that piece of artwork inside and then uh i mean there you go oh i'm so freaking excited for this you have no idea you have no idea how long i've wanted six inch gi joe figures um this is Freaking amazing. I just want to stare at this. I just want to stare at this. And I'm going to let you guys stare at it. Look at that. So it has this thing here. I think that's some kind of background piece. It's beautiful. Um, it is, uh, it's like, you could see it's got texture to it. That's sweet. It's got all the ninja weapons there, size. Spear, is that the sword there? Or is that like a whip? But there's the figure inside. So let me go ahead and start just uh, taking stuff out here. Really, really excited for this, guys. There's the figure right there. And he's got his Uzi. He's got his uh, another gun there. He's got his sword, backpack. This packaging is crazy cool. This is freaking awesome. So this back art here, it's um, it's almost like a metallic looking art. You could see the, the shine on it right there. And if this is any indication, and I think it is, on the figures we're going to see, 
in this wave because they've got Snake Eyes there. They've got Duke. They've got Scarlet. There's Roadblock there. It looks like we're getting – is that Leatherneck or Gung-Ho? I'm assuming that's going to that's gonna be Gung-Ho right there. I'm sure we're going to get that figure. Destro, I know we're getting. Baroness, Cobra Commander. Who else is on there? There's a ton of vehicles. That would be crazy if they did – who, are the, who is that? Is that Storm Shadow? The small one there? I can't tell. I'm going to have to take another look at this and figure out who these characters are, but they've got a ton of the vehicles there. The Armadillo, the Mobat, the Vamp. See all the vehicles down there? I seriously, seriously doubt we're going to get those vehicles in six-inch form, but uh, it's cool that they have them on there. The Conquest, the Skyhawk, the Rattler up top, the Raven, Night Raven. Oh, man. I'm so excited to open this. So there's that. And let's see if I can get this out. Is that everything? All right. That, so that's everything there. And then so there's the back here of this item. Oh, so there's where all the weapons can store. Uh, Montgomery Design. Cincy, did you like the G.I. Joe movies? You know, when I, they first came out, I really did not like them because I thought it got away from, uh, I don't know, this sounds cheesy, but the spirit of G.I. Joe. I grew up on the cartoon. I grew up on the comic books, and I thought it got a little bit too far away from that. Started to go more sci-fi. I think Retaliation kind of went back to the roots of G.I. Joe, but um, they still weren't great. But, but, uh, Rise of Cobra was on the other day, and it was on TV. I forgot what network it was on, and I watched the whole damn thing. Uh, so as a G.I. Joe movie, I don't like Rise of Cobra or Retaliation, but as a movie a cheesy action movie that I can just sit there and watch and be entertained by. I kind of like them. Uh, but um, again, I like a lot of movies that a lot of people don't like. So take that for what it is. Uh, but there you go. I took this thing out. This is freaking gorgeous right here. Look at the detail on that, that sculpt and that mold. That is freaking beautiful. And I will display snake eyes in front of this and this is so cool that you could store all the, it's like a weapons rack it's exactly what it is it's a it's a weapons rack to put all of these weapons on there and store them so and it's it's got weight to it it's not a flimsy little freaking hollow piece of plastic this is solid plastic here's the bottom and obviously it's got these little legs so it'll stand up nicely Let's see how well it stands up perfectly and then let me just start taking out some of these weapons here. So I'm not sure what that is, but it is a bladed weapon of some kind. It looks like a long freaking, like a lo really long sword. There is a, I believe that's a katana. I'm not up on my ninjutsu weaponry terms. That is like a little bladed weapon there too. And then it comes with two of those. If you know the actual names of these, please do let us know in the chat. Here's a Sai. I know the size because of Raphael. Here's another Sai. There was a figure that came out that had one friggin' Sai. I don't remember which figure that was, but why would you do that? It comes with this little, is it like a little hatchet? I don't remember which figure that was. If you know which figure it was that came out with one Sai, post it. Let me know because I don't remember. Sickle weapon is a comma. So PC says that the one that looks like a sickle is called Kama, K-A-M-A. -A. Uh, and then the last but not least, we have the, the spear, double-bladed spear. So those are all the ninjutsu-style weapons, and this is now cleaned out. If you can get your hands on this thing and not pay an arm and a leg, I would definitely recommend this. And I haven't even opened up the damn figure yet. I just really like all the accessories in this freaking weapons rack right here. But let me go ahead and find a knife so that I can open this. 
How's everyone doing, by the way? 149 people, 63 thumbs up. Thank you very much for being here, for spending time with me, for spending, if you're using your lunch hour to watch this at work, thank you for, for being here. And thank you for leaving the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Uh, but let me go ahead and open this guy up now. I'm being gentle with the packaging because I, I will keep this packaging. People ask me, do you keep packaging? This is one that I will keep. And I did not even notice this, but there is some art inside the packaging too. So once again, one more look at the packaging because it is very, very beautiful, especially this image on the back and that silver foily looking uh, artwork. And there's a some writing right there and it's figure zero, zero. Uh, I honestly cannot wait for more figures in, in this line. And um, again, I'm going to collect this line, but I'm also, this is like reinvigorating my interest in getting more vintage GI Joe stuff. So I'm just gonna take out all this weaponry here and all the accessories, and then I'll show you everything it comes with. Because it comes with a lot. But let me, as I'm doing this, take a look at the comments. Power Collector says, I'm off work today. Finally got to catch your live stream and I'm painting some D&D &D miniatures. So I'm having a pretty friggin' good day so far. That's awesome, dude. Um, speaking of miniatures, as I unbox this little story, when I, uh, when was it? About 93 to 95. I used to go to a store in Fairfax, Virginia, because I lived in Northern Virginia, and the store was called Games Workshop. And I used to collect these little miniature metal figures, Space Marines. Uh, they were part of a game called Warhammer 40K. I did not play the game. I never played the game, but I freaking love those little miniature metal figures. And I could not paint <laughs> worth a hell but I tried my damnedest to paint because they you would get them and they would be like completely like silver. Was it pewter? So I uh, used my very, very poor painting skills to try and paint these things. And I was, they looked like total ass, but I was so damn happy with, with my paint job. Uh, but I used to collect those. They were space Marines. And I wish I could remember the guys that they would fight but I loved collecting those. I collected those really, really heavy in like, I think it was 93, 94, 95. Um, and then uh, I just saw, was it McFarland Toys is gonna be actually doing Space Marine, at least one Space Marine figure. I think it was McFarlane. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, if you happen to know, but uh, I'm, I got really, really excited when I saw that because I just remembered to when I was, how old was I? like 16, 17, 18, and I would buy so many of those little miniatures and I would love those little freaking Space Marine figures. Uh, anyway, so I'm just messing around with this Snake Eyes figure and this is, I mean, easily, easily just entered my top five favorite figures of 2020. But I mean, jeez, this is freaking amazing. This is amazing. This is so freaking cool. Uh, the web gear. So he comes with this little uh, bandolier with the grenades. And he's got like some web gear under that. I'm going to see how it looks without that web gear to try and give it a more simple look, uh, less complicated look, kind of like the uh, snake eyes from the 80s, the first ninja snake eyes that we got. Um, but I will tell you right away that I really, really like this figure. I'm just taking a look at it right now. Does he have butterfly joints? It looks like there are butterfly joints. Minimal movement, though, front and back on the shoulder. You could see here. I'll show you. So there's the forward movement. And then I mean, you can hardly tell. It does have butterfly joints. It's got the shoulder joint, bicep cut, double jointed elbows, so it can bend very, very well. Double jointed knees. I really, really like that it has a boot cut. So look at that. Boot cut, ankle articulation, 
ankle rocker. Does he have a thigh cut? Thigh cut. And then Van Dam, baby. <laughs> so, yes. Yes, I recommend this figure. I literally just took it out of the packaging and I am just freaking obsessed with this figure already. It's got a uh, ab crunch. You can look at what he just stepped in. The hell did I just step in? Looking straight down like that. And then if he wants to uh, completely break his spine, he can do that too. <laughs> but um, I guess the only thing, it comes with a ton of accessories. The only other thing that I would have liked and I'm not at all complaining about this figure one bit. The only other thing that I would have liked is additional hands. He comes with two additional hands. So here is one hand and he's holding a throwing star. And I think that throwing star is molded to the hand, but that's really cool right there. Allow me to attempt to Josh Pence it. Still didn't work. He has a talent with being able to do that. I can't get the damn camera to focus when I do that, but there's the hand. And then the only other hand he comes with is this, uh, it's like a chopping hand, a little karate chop hand. Or if he's doing the whole, like, if he's doing like that or something. So I really like the figure. Uh, there's a sheath on the leg for the one of the knives. I guess this knife. Oh, I didn't show you all the accessories. So let's do that. So he does come with a backpack, backpack there. Comes with a uh, sword sheath or a katana sheath with the Arashikage symbol at the top. And this sheath, it looks like it's a kind of a brownish color and then black at the bottom. I can't tell if that's brown or olive. Uh, and then here is his main, I don't think that's a katana, is it? his sword, and then he comes with this knife with a little teeth on it. I'm not sure if you could see that. And then he comes with, uh, obviously, the Uzi. And he comes with a handgun there, pistolish handgun. <laughs> and then he comes with, uh, I used to call these silencers, but I think they're called suppressors. I think that's the actual name. People get pissed off if you call things by the wrong names, especially if it's gun related. Um, but look, the uh, silencer and or suppressor is on the, here, I'll put it on the background of my jersey there, is on the gun there. And let's see if you could put it on the Uzi as well. Yes, you can. Bam. So there you go. I don't know which one I'm gonna put it on. I kind of like the way the Uzi looks just like that. It really reminds me of the original figure. So, so there you go, guys. There is the snake eyes. And you can do like kicks, little rockets kick there. Let's see if I can get the butterfly joint to move more. There's not a whole lot of uh, movement in the butterfly joints, I will tell you that. But again, not complaining at all. I really, really, really love this figure. But uh, let me take a look at some comments here. This one cost, um, this was a Hasbro exclusive because it comes with this. Obviously the regular figure is not going to come with all this and the ninjutsu weapons and the packaging and stuff, but this one cost, I don't know what the original cost was on Hasbro, but I pre-ordered it as soon as it was available. And uh, to, to my house, it was $50. So that includes shipping and Hasbro's shipping is not cheap. So I'm assuming shipping was probably like 12 bucks. So this thing was, so Michael Taylor just said it was $39.99. So there you go. So um, the regular figure is probably going to be, I guess, $19.99 or $24.99. But honestly, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm just looking at the, uh, the pants. It's hard to see what color the pants are. It looks like a gray. It's not really brown. It's like a light black or a dark gray. But yes, I absolutely uh, recommend this. And Mega X Studio said I'll probably get the regular release. I probably will too. And I'm going to deck one out as the with all the ninjutsu weaponry, and then I'll deck one out as just like the commando version of Snake Eyes with guns ablazing. But uh, I really, really like this figure. 
And I, uh, I could see just a ton of posing options with this thing, uh, with different weapons and stuff. All right, so let me go ahead and take a look at the comments here. By the way, we're at 45 minutes. I have 15 minutes left, 153 on, 73 thumbs up. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for thumbs up. Uh, I went over YouTube channels that I watched, so if you missed that part, if you're new to this stream, watch the replay after it goes on YouTube, and you'll see some YouTube channels that I watch. Uh, I opened up a uh, Earthrise wheel jack. I showed you the, here, I'll just show you again, the cliff jumper with a repro label Autobot symbol on his chest with the jet fire blast effect on the uh, gun there. Then I opened up what might be my favorite figure of the year. We'll see what happens for the rest of the year, but what might possibly be my number one figure of 2020 with this uh, G.I. Joe classified snake eyes. I really, really like it. Uh, but uh, there you go. That was everything I was going to cover, I believe. Um, so let's just go ahead and get to the chat and just hang out here now. <clears throat> I don't remember where I left off, so I'm just going to kind of start in the middle of the comments here. Uh, Mr. Allmind says, jealous you got snake eyes already. Um, yeah, he should be shipping pretty soon if you haven't gotten the uh, notice already. Gladiator Brig McFarlane and SHF are making Space Marines. There you go. McFarlane is also making a blank for you to paint like a model. That's really cool. So McFarlane toys, kind of killing it this year. With the DC figures, with that spawn figure, which I'm still waiting for, I have it pre-ordered on GameStop. Not sure how that's going to freaking work since uh, they're kind of closed right now. All non-essentials are closed right now because of the virus. So hopefully hopefully, I can still get my hands on it. I already put five bucks down on the spawn, but they're doing Space Marines. I'm going to collect them because that is literally a piece of my childhood right there. My teenage childhood. Uh, Corey, I think those are his Voltron figs. What did Corey ask? Voltron figs. Are you asking about those right there? So that's the vehicle Voltron. That's a soul of Chagokin. And then that one right there is a Transor Z, also known as Mazinger, uh, soul of Chagokin. So those are both heavy die cast Bandai uh, figures. And the Voltron does disassemble and you can put it in the uh, land, air, and sea forms or just have all of the vehicles displayed. I still need a Lion Voltron, by the way. I've been watching one on Amazon. It's fluctuated between $376 and $420. Um, I probably should have tried to make a play on it when it was $376, but I didn't. It, it's a big chunk of change for me. So uh, eventually I'll get the Lion Voltron, Soul of Chagokin. I definitely want that. I'm going to take a drink here while I read. Rob Swolo says, too bad the other ones don't look as good. He's referring to the G.I. Joe classified figures. Um, I'm uh, definitely interested in, in the um, Roadblock just because I like that deco. That was the second version of Roadblock where he had like that green vest. And I like that look. It was the, um, the second one. It, they showed that one a lot on the cartoon. But I'm looking forward to that one. I think the Duke looks good too. The Scarlet is the one that... Uh, is questionable to me. Um, her hair looks a little too cartoon-like or like anime-like. It doesn't look like her hair has a lot of texture in it. I think that was my biggest problem. I was really trying to analyze why do I, why am I not like really excited for the Scarlet? I think she uses too many paint apps. It's it's a little busy looking on her like outfit and stuff. And then the other thing that bothered me was the hair. It was like no texture in the hair. She has like a lighter piece of orange in the front, like for her bangs, if I can remember correctly, and then darker hair in the back. And it was just like, it was like really solid colors and just looked flat to me. It could all change by the time it comes out. And once I get it in hand, I could like it a lot more. I will tell you that while I knew I would like the Snake Eyes figure, now that I have it in hand, I love it. I was... I wasn't apprehensive about it, but I'm like, hmm, am I going to like this thing as much as I like the old snake? Did he just? Oh, frick. All right. So I just discovered a new <laughs> articulation. He has, it's like a ball peg in the waist. 
That's awesome. Look at that. Uh, the Power Rangers have like a ball peg in the upper chest and then below that an ab crunch. But I was just like messing around with this figure and I just discovered that. I had no idea that I had that. That's awesome. So I like this figure even more now, if that was possible. It's trending towards number one of 2020. I know there's a lot more figures that are coming out, a lot of stuff that, that has already come out, which I also love, but this is trending towards my number one of 2020. But I really like it, and that is really cool that I just found that. Uh, let's see. We got 10 minutes, guys. Um, Destro is coming out. I thought that was going to be part of the first wave, but they have not shown the picture of that yet. I'm hoping they go with the uh, silver chromed head, not the gold chromed head. Um, <laughs> Montgomery Design says there have only been five figures released in 2020. <laughs> there hasn't been a whole lot, um, but there have been uh, quite a few good ones. A lot of good legends. Uh, the Red Hulk, which I heard, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm just going to say, I think we're going to be possibly seeing Red Hulk in the future. And I'll just leave it at that. I heard a rumor about something. Red Hulk. I'll just leave it at that. Um, let's see. Imagine the, the display you can do with him when they make a storm shadow. The two of them together are going to be amazing. Dave3084 said that. I agree. The storm shadow is going to look great with this. Red Hulk popped up at my store for pickup. Is that reliable enough that it'll actually be there when an employee goes to get it? It depends. The first two times I tried to get a Red Hulk, they could not find it in the back. Apparently, it's an unmarked box. The third attempt is the one where they actually found the Red Hulk. So good luck if you go out to try and find it. I hope you find it because I really like the figure. And it looks great on the shelf. I have it on a shelf of villains down there. It looks really good next to the Monster Venom. So if you get the Monster Venom and the Red Hulk, just put them next to each other and look at them together. And they, they look great next to each other. Uh, that game's called Warhammer. Yeah, Warhammer, f I think it was 40K, right? Uh, Wicked Hunter says, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Worked for me the other day, then find out another store that didn't offer pickup, but said it was in stock. Talking about the Red Hulk there. You're back today. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to come back probably on Friday. I'm doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday live stream this week. I had a lot of stuff that I had to work on yesterday. Uh, I had to film um, some work video stuff. But um, yeah, I'll use my lunchtime uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week. So I'll see you guys on Friday. Uh, I should be receiving some, I don't know if I, they'll be here by then, but some comic books. My final comic book haul for a while until Diamond picks up again. Shoji C said, I got my snake eyes the other day since he, I can say that Hasbro is on the right track with six inch Joes. If they just gave them a little more hand options like this, that's exactly what I said. More hands. I think it would have been great. Um, because one of the things that uh, I really like about that black suit Spider-Man, the one that was in the, I forgot which for Craven wave. I don't remember, but was the hands and like hands to like, like a hand like that, that you could use to like, um, make him pose, like do like handstands and stuff. More hands would have been really cool because Snake Eyes is a ninja. It would be cool to do like some crazy, wicked, dynamic poses where he's like standing, like trying to balance on one hand and shooting an Uzi, kind of like Neo style from the Matrix. I could just see a lot of possibilities if they did like additional hands, but totally agree with you. Uh, hello, Mega X Studios. Mega X Studios said hi. Uh, the alt hands blow hard. <laughs> Gladiator Briggs said the alt hands blow hard. I do like the uh, the shuriken, the throwing star hand. That's pretty cool right there. Why no melee grip hands? He's a ninja with $20 in ninja weapons. <laughs> uh, you can attach it to the backpack. You can attach it to the backpack. What can you attach to the backpack? Oh, there's a little peg hole on the backpack. I'm assuming you can attach... The sheath for the sword. Let's give it a go. See if that works. I think that's what he's talking about. Yep. So you can attach the sword sheath to the backpack if you'd like. Or if you don't wear the backpack, I'm, you could probably just plug in the sword sheath to the back of the figure like I'm about to do right now. There you go. So there's that option too. 
my two-year-old is really enjoying this video. Awesome, Mark44 Prime. Hello to your two-year-old. Uh, probably the bright colors, the, the bright orange and the non-matching hat, the NFL hat and NHL jersey. Uh, let's see. Those hot toys look nice. Thank you very much. I really like those hot toys. I have one on the way. Uh, Emperor Palpatine on the throne. And I got to find a place for it. He was going to go up there on the top. Uh, but I decided to put the Black Panther up there because the Black Panther actually lights up. I have it connected to a uh, USB charger that I'll charge every now and then. But you can flip the lights and then like Black Panther's suit lights up. I don't remember which video it was that I showcased that, but check that one out. It's really cool. If I don't get any new figures, maybe I'll just show that on Friday and show you how it lights up. It, it looks really awesome. Uh, Ionicus, how many people were disappointed Snake Eyes went down so quickly in the original animated G.I. Joe movie? After I rewatched that, after I rewatched the original animated movie, did you get one Snake Eyes or two? I only got one, uh, the big little J2496. I only got one so far, but... Um, I will definitely pick up the retail release when it comes out as well. Mega X Studio says, man, I think I should have pre-ordered that. Try to get your hands on it. Don't pay scalper prices, but uh, I don't know. Uh, they kind of treated it like a Comic-Con type release. So hopefully you can get your hands on it. I really, really like the way the weapons rack looks. This is just freaking beautiful molding and sculpt right there. That's sculpt, by the way. That's... That's raised sculpt, if you can't see. And then the uh, the weapons rack on the back. Let's see, let's see, let's see. My comments just jumped, so I'm just going to start reading from the bottom because I only have three minutes left. Uh, Robert Chattel, have a great day as well. Uh, Montgomery Designs, what kind of video games do you play? A lot of NHL. I buy a lot of video games thinking I'm going to play them. Uh, and I'll play like one or two games, but I always go back to NHL, NHL 20. Uh, I'm playing playoffs right now. Basically what I did is I looked at all the standings in the NHL and what the playoffs would be, what the matchups would be right now if the playoffs were to start, which the NHL has said if the NHL season does come back, they're thinking about just starting the playoffs right away and not even finishing the last 10 to 11 games of that regular season. So I'm playing through the playoffs, some good matchups there. Uh, the Mando Hot Toys can't get here soon enough. I can't wait for that. I actually kept my pre-order on the first one. So I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i decided I'm going to get both Mandos. I'm going to get the original one because it looks so different. I looked at side-by-side -side pictures. The first one with all the, like, the brown and orange-like armor, the piecemealed armor, looks so different, so much dirtier. And then the Beskar still just looks so freaking clean. So I'll probably display the first Mandalorian in the orange and brownish armor with IG-11 to kind of um, show them in that first episode. Was it the first episode where they find the child? I think it was. I love the end of that where they're working together. IG-11 kept trying to self-destruct <laughs> and uh, Mandal Mando kept trying to not get him to blow up. Um, and then when I get the Beskar Steel one, because the, the original one, the first one, is coming this year, apparently. And then the Beskar one is not till next year. So I'll have that one on shelf with the child. If they do a, um, I can't remember her name. If they do a Gina Carano figure, she'll go on that shelf too. If they do a freaking Quill, he'll go on that shelf too. What's Gina Carano's name? For some reason, I was going to say Jenner or so, but clearly that's not correct. And then I thought Mara Jade, and that's not correct. <laughs> I can't remember her damn name. Cara Dune. Thank you very much, Mega X Studios. Cara Dune, Gina Carano's character. Did you notice the weapons rack is the Arashikagi logo? Are you freaking kidding me? I did not even notice that. That's awesome. So now, because I kept looking at it from an angle, and I'm just looking at the, like, the little pegs. I did not look at it from this angle and clearly see that's the Arashikagi logo. That's freaking sweet. This thing keeps getting better and better every time I look at it, every time someone points something out. Um, so, Jim, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, I program and make video games for college. It's so much fun. That's awesome, dude. Montgomery Designs makes video games. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I got 20 seconds left. Uh, I liked NHL hockey. I think it was on Nintendo. I was in the movie Swingers. Yes, yes, where they make a <laughs> little Wayne's head bleed. Uh, it's not so much me as it is Ronick. 
love that part in Swingers. I love that movie. That movie is awesome because when that movie came out, I think it was 95 or 96, I was the same age as those guys in the movie. So we were all in like our early 20s and I lived with a bunch of dudes that sat around and played NHL. So it was like, did they make a movie about us? Uh, so it was <laughs> Swingers is such a great movie. And I freaking love that part where they're playing NHL. Awesome. Uh, his neck moves and hips drop down. Are you freaking kidding me? Do the hips drop down? Hips don't lie like Shakira. They do. So let's see if I can show you guys this. The hips, if you could see that, the legs drop down and so you can get even higher kicks. What is it? What did the other thing say about the neck? His neck moves. I'm going to have to play with that. Yeah, I can I can definitely feel his neck moving, but his head's moving too. And I see that there is there's a joint in the upper neck there right below the head. Ball joint at the bottom of the neck. This thing's freaking awesome. So there you go. That's the end of the stream. This thing's awesome. Go find this. Go buy this. Don't overpay. But buy this figure. If you liked G.I. Joe, this is like the ultimate freaking G.I. Joe figure. And Tay Tay has come here just in time for the cop of police to strike. I'm just about to end this. So do you want to say goodbye? I'm saying hi. Okay. Well, she's saying hi. And we're about to say goodbye. What? Yep. I've been on here for an hour. My lunch hour's up. I got to get back to work. Um. I'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to hit end stream. No. No, I have to hit a couple buttons before it actually ends. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you guys later. Thanks for joining. You guys are awesome. Uh, adios. Peace. Peace.